welcome back to the channel underwater astronauts my name is Jamison and this guide will cover one of the alternate locations in which you can find the control room data box in subnautica below zero let's get on with the guide as is the usual on the channel we will be starting at the base of this structure here that I like to call iceberg island those are the coordinates there in brackets for anyone who would like to use console commands as for everybody else who would like to find this the normal way start at your drop pod now your drop pod can spawn in one of three locations so the distances will vary from 150 to about 350 400 meters but the gist of it is just head north northeast until you start seeing ice shelves a landmass and a bunch of penguins and you'll eventually find iceberg island and once here we're going to hop in a sea truck once we are in our sea truck underneath iceberg island we're going to want to face almost directly in between southeast and south and head out for about 800 meters now this data box is in the purple vents guys so the gear you'll need to take is sea truck you can get away with no depth modules as it's only about 140 meters deep but if you have a depth module use it and also take a rebreather or an oxygen tank just any form of extra oxygen because you will be at depth and you may deplete fast if one of the hostels in the area which are the shark alligators attack you and you have to swim off or sea glide away you may find yourself suffocating and drowning before you reach the surface or return to your sea truck but other than that standard purple vents watch out for the shark alligators sea truck and some oxygen that's about it very simple guide very simple direction very simple list of gear as you can see there is our hostel on the right keep an eye on him also the purple vents are home to a lot of wrecks so if you wanted you could have also taken a scanner That'll have probably been in the list of gear on the right hand side that's disappeared by now, but just so if you're wondering why it's there, I do mention it. Anyway, we're gonna start to descend now. Keeping a close eye on them. There's the wreckage down below. Depending on how far you are in game, there may or not may not be things worth scanning here. But as you can see, they're not too happy that we're here. Pull the sea truck up a little bit away. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hug the wall. And just there next to this flower is our data box. And since I've already got the control room unlocked, it just gave me titanium. But if this is your first time seeing it, you've just got yourself a control room. So congratulations. That is how you get one. And with that being said, I think it's time to conclude the video guys. So if you found this useful or enjoyable, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, by all means give us a thumbs down. And whilst you're at it, consider hitting that subscribe button and checking out some of my other content if you really want to help myself and the channel out. But once again, my name is Jemison and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.